So we are going to discuss about the very first one here we are going to talk about is the sequence database. Okay. Sequ sorry, sequence database. In sequence database, it can be divided into two different type nucleotide database and protein database in this among this type. Okay. Nucleotide database and we have protein database. These are these two types. Nucleotide database and protein database. Protein database can be further classified into two different types. Okay. Primary primary sequence database secondary sequence database okay primary sequence database and secondary sequence database so so let's first talk about the nucleotide database let's first talk about the nucleotide database So nucleotide database is basically collection of all the nucleotide sequences, I mean DNA sequences, RNA sequences and the submission is received from across the globe from different locations. Researchers can provide information regarding DNA and RNA and that can be stored in the nucleotide database. Okay, And there are three major examples of this nucleotide database that are available in the world right now. Okay, So this NT database a nucleotide database three big examples European Molecular Biology Laboratory the first one that is EMBL okay EMBL is under the regulation of EBI and we have discussed it earlier what EMBL has it has input system it also has a sequence retrieval system it has SRS or sequence retrieval system to retrieve information about the nucleotide sequence information that is available in the EMBL database. Okay? And it is also connected to other database like Medline for example, for instance. Second example is GenBank which is under the regulation of NCBI. Okay? by regulated by NCBI under the regulation of NCBI National Center for Biotechnology Information and this GenBank also has its searching and retrieval system and that is known as enters remember we have talked about enters earlier retrieval system integrated retrieval system to retrieve information from GenBank okay Now the third type is DDBJ known as DNA Data Bank of Japan. DNA Data Bank of Japan. DDBJ. Okay. It is maintained by National Institute of Genetics. And the sequences that are available here can be submitted throughout the globe via the world wide web. This is a web based data and tool very user uh, user interface is very simple and you can use it and you can also retrieve the data get the information from this database. But uh, the among these three the very common one is the EMBL and the NCBI hosted GenBank both of them are very very uh, you know useful and most widely used although DDBJ is something that is uh, worth men mentioning and also doing the similar type of work okay now basically what we are trying to understand here is that this in like gen bank particularly embl they work in combination with other databases other organization other research organization because when this when we are creating a database we are creating it for a global audience a global research audience in the researcher audience so any researcher who is doing a research in Japan, a researcher is doing a research in UK, in Germany, in France, in India, in Pakistan, they are going to share their information with themselves because it's a overall idea, the idea under the same umbrella, everything, every single information about a DNA, about a portion of a DNA must be available. 
and they should have a cross talk and connection between them if we cut this connection then we are restricting the growth and the opportunity of growth that's why we always have a open sharing system there as well but there is a there is one sort of problem because of this uh, this different so the one one practical problem comes in because uh, and that is regarding the format file format you know just like a file format of the video or or image we know that jpeg is image format png is image format so similarly there are these different formats that because of uh, because this different types of uh databases are hosted by different country in different institute they have different file formats so as they have different types of file format this file format and are, are you know if we retrieve information from ncbi and then working with it and then we get some information from embl we cannot combine them so we need a file format converter so that's why nowadays there are database tools developed that can convert one file format to the other type it's very important very practical problem but we need a solution so these are some important sequence database and then apart from that what we else we have we have protein database among the sequence database itself hmm 